What's going on, everybody? It's Mel Schmiller here, Dark Side of the Grill. Today we got something crack a lacking for you. I hope you're as excited as I am. This beautiful eye of round, this Alberta AAA beef, it's going to turn into a beef dip, ladies and gents. We're going to smoke this guy up, lather it in a W sauce, and then we're going to smoke it over the au jus on the big green egg. And we're going to put it on the beautiful sandwiches, the baguettes, baby, the banging baguettes. This is going to be unbelievable. It's one of my favorite recipes to cook. Let's get into her, shall we? Oh, yeah. Make sure you're hitting subscribe, hitting the bell, hitting me up in the comments. Let me know how I did. Let's get into this sucker right now, shall we? All right. First things first, let's get started with our ingredients. Beautiful eye of round, bigger the better. Look for that marbling, super important, our W sauce. Today I'm using the fire shark because I like it a little bit of spicy, but whatever, W sauce, W sauce, make sure you get it. Purple onions, you're gonna need a couple of purple onions, you're gonna need a couple of peppers, the more the merrier because you're gonna want them on that sandwich, trust me. Bit of garlic, you got some beef broth, right? And then a simple salt, pepper, garlic, just like a brisket. Now you're gonna need a pan to put all of this in with the broth and then we're gonna set this on top of that and smoke it so that it drips down into the au jus. That is key to this. Let's get to chopping, shall we? All right, let's get it. Easy peasy. We wanna cut these long and thin, quarter inch slices. That's what we're planning on. Absolutely love this. Gently Bentley. Just like this, see? Nice and simple. Because they're gonna be going on the sandwiches and they're gonna get soggy. They're gonna render out, right? This is nice and easy. We just want them to soak up all of that smoke and flavor. It's gonna be dripping down there. Oh. And then into the pan. Into that pan. Now you want to cut that rib out, but I don't stay, I don't get too crazy about it because well, it renders right out, disappears. This would be different if it was a salad, but trust me, the more pepper you have in this application, the better because they're so tasty, so tasty. There's a, di a million different ways of cutting peppers, but this is my easiest. I've cut about a billion peppers, so. And I'm always saving the tops because I got tortoises, eh? So, you'll notice anytime in any of my videos, Mel is definitely saving all of that vegetable refuse, right? Because the tortoises love it. Oh, get them peppers. Quick and easy. Same with the onion. You don't want huge thick pieces, you want long skinny pieces. All right, just like that. And then one eighth of an inch is what I'm cutting these at. That's going to end up just perfect. See that? People are always asking me, how come onions don't make you cry, Mel? Get a sharp knife. Get a sharp knife and you won't have to worry about it. If your onions are making you cry like crazy, it's because your knife is dull and you're making it explode more than cutting it.
and the garlic. I'm going to use a half a head. This is my trick. Cut the butt off it, right? And then give her a good crush, right? Skin just pops right off. Just like that. Easy peasy. Give her a twist if it's fighting you, but. care of that. A little bit of salt and pepper right in the pan just to get started. Top of them veggies. Now let's get to it. Quick clean up on aisle nine there. There we go right. Salt and pepper on the veggies just a little bit. I'll hit it one more time just to show you. There you go. A little bit of that W sauce in there. Nice and easy. And our beef broth. And remember, this is going to cook off a bit, so we're going to put some water in there as well. So that she doesn't burn to the pan. Just like that. Okay. Mix it in there. Absolutely gorgeous. Now we're going to put this aside. We're going to get working on that beef, shall we? Here we go, whole live round, nice and easy. Open this up, a little bit of trimming to do on this. Okay, just like that. So we're gonna wanna get that fat cap off, just a little bit, right? We're not looking to clean this totally off. Just the stuff that we know isn't going to render. So if you take a look at that, right, I'm just running that fat cap off. I'm on silver skin. Just nice. Light trimming. Just like that. Pinch them. Yep, there we go. And run right around that corner there. Clean that right up. Nice, nice. And you got this guy right there. Just about done. 
Now remember, this is super lean, so a little bit don't hurt. I've left the fat cap completely on. This one I'm cleaning up, though, just for you guys. Clean that edge up a bit. There we go. I like that. That looks good. Now, we're going to set her on here. Usually I have a grid for this, just like an open grill. I can't find it, so this is what you're going to have to deal with today. W sauce. This is going to be our binder and our flavor adder right here. Look at that. Oh, beauty. Don't be shy with her. Remember this puppy hard. Yes. Beautiful. You can hear my bulldog snorting around there already. As soon as the beef comes out, man, he's he's ready to go. Okay. Salt and pepper. A little bit of garlic. Don't be shy because, like I said, we're shaving this. All right. Gently flip it. And we are ready for the big green egg, which is already rocking. 300 degrees. Got some wood chips in there, right? And this is how we're going to take her out. Just like this. And then this is going to sit in the center just like that. You see how nice that looks? And as it cooks, it's going to drip down into our au jus. Everything is fantastic. Let's get it out there. Let's get it smoking. Action. Here we go. 325. We're on lock. She's smoking real nice. We're doing this indirect. So we got the plate setters in there. This thing goes right on here like this. Just like that. And we'll see you in at least an hour. We're going to come and check mostly just on the au jus to make sure we're not drying up. But uh, smoking time, eh? Right on. All right, this is us. Just a quick check-in. Oh, yeah, she's coming along real nice. Hey, okay, just starting. Veggies are starting to soften up. We've got some time still. We've got some time, but I brought in more water. You know why? Because why not? It's going to cook down. We definitely don't want that to burn. The more au jus, the better as well. So there we go. Right on. So another 45 minutes, we'll be back out. Here we go, we're looking pretty good. That old jus looking fantastic, and this thing's dripping real nice now. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're way past done already, perfect. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Now I'll tell you what, the way these things cook, it's still gonna be quite rare. You wait and see, you wait and see. So let's, this is a science project. Now let's get this in the house and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. We're gonna let it rest for about a half an hour. Okay, let's get our baguette ready to go here. Let me just show you real quick. Bread is real important to me, right? You want a nice, somewhat stiff, somewhat squishy baguette right here. Ready? Bang, just like that. Right down the center. Ready? Oh, yeah, baby. And right through. Right through. Open it up. Just like this. Beautiful. Just like that. Now, the pizza mozzarella. That's what we want, baby. This is... I'm going to be using pizza mozzarella on this. I'm going to run it right back out to the egg and toast it. See, that's a good mozzarella right there. Sticky icky, baby. And don't be shy with the cheeses, man. Don't be shy with the cheeses. This is half your sandwich, right? So either you can go half cheeses, you can go whole cheeses. I'm going to go half cheeses on this because no sense being crazy. But we're going to toast the whole thing. Then we're going to come back in here, and by then, that uh, meat will be rested. We're ready to make a sandwich, just like that, all right? So we're going to run this out to the egg, melt these up, be right back. And just like that, eh? Real quick and easy. All right, let's get to that meat. And here she is, nice and rested. I'm going to cut the nub off just to keep this clean, right? There we go. And then... Gonna cut this down just like that, and I'll come visit that in a second here, but take a look at this. Nice and thin, look at that juice is already running. Nice and thin, paper thin. Get you a good fillet knife for this. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Just nice. See, you remember I told you after you rest it, this stays pretty rare. I'd be pulling these around 138. Would be perfect for me. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. Nice and shaved. There we go. Now I'm just going to cut off enough for the sandwich because you can put this back in the in the fridge. Save this for another another day. This is just beautiful. You can even vacuum seal this for lunches, whatever you want. This is great in soups now. You can cut this up and put it on pizzas. There's a million things you can do with this. Tacos, man. Shaved beef on tacos. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Just gorgeous. I'm drooling, baby. I'm drooling. One more. One more real nice one. And there we go. Just like that. Now we're going to get to building them sandwich. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. Now this is where the magic happens. First of all, get some of that au jus happening. Oh yeah, baby. Just gorgeous. Now look at this. Perfectly rendered out veggies, onions, peppers. Oh, so good. You know, a little uh, horseradish should go a long way here too, right? There we go, there we go. Take a look at this, take a look at this. Now we're gonna put, put that beef on there. Look at it, just peeling apart. That's exactly what you want right there. Nice and juicy. And pile it high, man. Don't, don't be a cheapskate beepskate here, right? Yeah, there we go. You ready to take a look at that? Let's see what we're dealing with here. Now that, my friends, that is a beautiful, beautiful beef dip sandwich. Oh, I'm just loving it. And I told you, the best beef dip sandwich, that W sauce, the Alberta beef, everything is fantastic. Take a look at that. Now, I said it would be the best beef dip of your life. I have to prove it, don't I? Take a look at this. Oh, the dunk, baby. That's what it's all about right there. Mmm. Mmm. Incredible. This is so good. You're going to thank me a million times over. Make sure you're hitting subscribe, hitting the comments, hitting the bell. Thank you all very much for following along. I appreciate the crap out of every single one of you. i got to finish this. Cheers, everybody. Mm. 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 It's so good. Oh, it's so good.